What's going on, y'all? This is Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're on Chapter 3. So, let's get right into this. Alright, guys. Chapter 3. Here we go. I need to shave. Uh, let me see. Let me see my face. Uh, I'll be alright. Let me change my clothes, though. Hold up. Let's do some... Clothes changing. Fire. I love that. Who's yelling like that? What's wrong with you, nigga, man? Mm. And you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Depending on the lady. Should I say the women? Yeah, that's 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 what it is, man. Oh, you can change the color of the actual work pants. Okay. Let's do that for now. I don't know. Um. Let me see the shirt. I feel like the shirt should be a little lighter though. Yeah, let's try that out. But there we go. Them pants for some reason don't resonate with me. Hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. So who am I gonna go to first? Let's see. All right, we'll do. Let's do P first because he's already in the camp, you know. And then we'll do D is Dutch, right? Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me. What is wrong with relax, you? Relax, relax, cuz. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, mm. I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Hmm. Cook, woman. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. Hmm. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you hmm. crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Hmm. Well, come with me then. She's a wild one. Wanna head out there, run with the man. Hmm. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. Hmm. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. Hmm. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Hmm. Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Come on, woman. 
Come on. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Yeah, shut your damn mouth, woman. Shut your mouth, woman. We're going for a ride, woman. Let's go. Woman, let's go. You go down, said, let's go, you. woman. I guess. You guess. Well, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. Half wit. We all gotta do our share, princess. Yeah, princess. Oh, where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? <laughs> oh. Robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> She's got a point. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, <laughs> you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray. She's to cool. I like her, man. <laughs> that your health has not deteriorated further. <laughs> blah blah blah. Boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even mm. talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, <laughs> That's well, hilarious. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper. Hey, put that up. Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not, Not idiots. idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. Right. You head on Girl, in put there, that thing away. Buy some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This mm -hmm. time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Post office. I'll be back, sweet cheeks. Bank of Rhodes. It was Bank of America. Did they exist back then or something? What do you mean Fool, please. Yo, I need a stamp, son. Hello. How y'all doing? Hey, step out of line, cuz. Sir, good morning. How you doing? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. All right, have a good day, sir. Have a mighty fine day, sir. Right, let's go back to the way again. We just sent the mail. It's all fleet gets their express delivery, so it should be there by tomorrow. I'm trying. Try harder. What's up, Shorty? She wasn't wearing that before. Okay. Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. Sadie, come on. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Yeah, she just. Why don't you drive? Okay. Yeah, come you on, drive. Lady, don't drive me on. crazy, though. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get everything. I think so. Oh, and she's slow. New... I might have to get ready because I don't know, man. Close, I see. Oh, start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. So you was wearing the pants, yeah, basically. You sure look the part now. 
Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. Hmm. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Mm. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Can you go? Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! What's uh, up, Mark? What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You sweetie. need to pay a toll to pass through here. Is that right? Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? That's right. How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Nigga, what? Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! God damn it! Damn it. Nigga. Whoa. Pay that toll, nigga. Come on. Eat those, son. I love it. Come on, shoot. Oh, damn, I'm out of bullets or something. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta. I knew there was gonna be something. Well, let me go around here. Shit, man. What, what is this? I got him. Obviously, you can't, sweet lady. That was me. That wasn't you. Oh, hey, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. Hold on, hold on. I'm fine. Let me get off. Watch it. Let me, hold on, hold on. Uh, hey, where are you going? I'm getting shells. I'm rocking these clowns, man. To sleep. Look at this guy. He got rocked. Let's just, let's keep it real. A letter. Hmm. Look at this clown, man. His head is off. He said, I need to pay a toll. Ain't that something? Imagine me paying these clowns a toll to be here. Yeah, okay. Could have done worse to your ass, man. But you know what? That was I was that was just me being nice. You understand? Give me this. Yeah. I need this hat, bro. I like it. This hat's nice, man. I like that. Okay. Let me clean this shit up. I like this gun. Let me clean it. Don't want it to jam now, do we? Wouldn't want it to jam. Now, would we? Oh, the hat. Oh, the hat. Hold up. Hold up, guys. I need this hat back. This is still my hat. We'll be back. This hat's nice. Thanks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Why can I shoot him? That's stupid. All right, let's go, sweet cheeks. You and me. We showed those bastards. Oh, there we know. She couldn't handle it. You only killed like one person. It's not our fault. We don't I mean, bring anyone sniffing around. Are you 
gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. Hmm. But maybe not. We yeah. should. Who do know. they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Lemoyne. When the life gives you lemoins, what do you do? You make lemonade, tell me. By squeezing your gun. Yeah, you're so innocent. Get off the train. Oh. Wait, what? There we go. Guess we gotta go in the circle. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we uh Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping. Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack <laughs> finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. <laughs> You've already done me a big favor today. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. What the hell is wrong with the camera? That was weird. Yes. Who's talking? Who's asking? You joining us here, Arthur? Not quite yet. I got to ride out, homie. It's your boy got to ride out. I'm going to speak with my man Dutch. You understand me, man? Let's speak with Dutch. Might put him in a ditch. Speak with Dutch. Put him in a ditch. This dude is currently being prepared. Check again you after noon. A new hat, did you? <laughs> you like it? My oh, man. I scored it, son. Dutch, let me get How that you hat. Doing, old <laughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania. Fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Nope, don't Many care. Times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Yeah, you're boring. Worrying me. We lost men back there. You don't really do we anything either. Have lofty goals, Arthur. What do we know? We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We our dream back on thing. in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on go ahead we move it's nice out mm -hmm. old jose says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of thick so we're fishing that should move really slow yo what up john is that john marston over there that is not. Right. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Mm. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good a long time. Always dream crushing and bubble burst. Let me go pet my horse real quick. Hey, Bobby. Come on, man. Yeah, okay, boy. <laughs> so sweet. Don't think you're getting out of this, Arthur. Said I was. Who said I wanted to get out of this? How about we don't my foot up your ass, homie? Go. Oh. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me well, finally. The old guard. It's about time. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. 
It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Thick and soupy. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought. Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make What's the plan, money, homie? Then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Dutch, please move we out of my way. Please. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. We're going to block Dutch. I need you with me, not against me. What? Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. That's trying to get up. Time, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. I'm intentionally blocking but Dutch out the way. Turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, uh -huh. we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich simpletons there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Ah, uh, shut up, Nothing please. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. I wish the niggas would. Let me ride out. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. I should shoot the law, man. I don't like the law, dog. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! More scandal. Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, Let's big go. Guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. I won't. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Got you, okay. Holmes. Come on, hurry. Hey, oh, shut up. Come shut come it. On. Yeah, you losing yourself, Master, homie. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Callahan. Master, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Your I'm neck's on the line. I'm doing my bad. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You said too now, much, actually, homie. Oh, is that? Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave them. Stay with that train. Mm. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our. Shut up, man. Please. Thank you. Chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Alongside it, right? Keep us close to the train. Gosh. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Yeah, I think so. Hey, me. Because you ride like my grandmother. What? I'm about to whoop his ass, bro. He's done. I'll make sure I kick his ass. Yeah. Take care of my horse, man. Shut up, man. I'm doing your job. You suck at your job, homie.
Nope, I'm coming for your ass. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm coming. Shut up, man. If I have to, I will, bro. Alright, this guy's done. I got you. You knocked you off the train. Oh, word. Oh, is that right? Is that right? I hit like a child, right? I hit like a child, right? Shut up. Get up. Alright. So do something. Look at this clown running. Come here. Come here. Oh, what do you got? A knife? We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 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 I won't. I'll try not to. Damn, my bad. <laughs> Did I kill him? Oops. <laughs> oh, man. I punched the crap out of that dude, though. You gotta give it to me. I punched the crap out of him. I'm coming for you next. I like that. Thanks. Thanks for the beans. Hey. Yes, right. I'm gonna whoop you. you know, Can't do that. I'm gonna whoop you. You know what? Come on. Come get some of this. Oh, yeah. Pull that knife out, boy. What? Let me kill him. 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 Can't fight. Can't fight. Can't fight, bro. Can't fight. What's up? What's up? Hello? What, Anything man? Right you little clown, you ain't do nothing in here. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. I really hurt him bad, out. though. All right, get out. I'll pick him up. Got gotcha. you. Yo, get you. Get up. What a bum. Get up. Clown. Open the door, man. I gave him a good black eye. He's bleeding too. Sounded like quite a commotion. Yeah. Is that him? That was me whooping his. I sincerely his... hope so. Yeah. Old Anders Anderson. What now? Take him in. Come on. Man, get out of here. You didn't do nothing. Job, what did well you do? Done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. What did you do? Hmm. Nothing. What's my hat? You, you are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the other? Man, use a bomb, oh, bro. Oh, we'll round him up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation. Oh, is he? Really He's something. the brains. You're the boss. Boss. That's mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, oh, yeah. I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Oh, is that right? Bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My mm. family's been working for them for years. Mm. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Mm. Which town? Rhodes, sir. Your mom's town, you cuz. Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. Mm. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite. Like mm. I said, we just got down here. 
Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Hmm. Awful people. Truly awful. Wow. They've been fighting awful. with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Hmm. We're we gonna, gonna go faster. Alright. Looks like we was here before. I don't want to cause trouble on roads, but if I have to, I will. If I have to kill, I will, bro. Here we are. This Welcome clown. Roads. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Nice. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, mm. train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Where? Yeah. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Do my best. Hey, fellas. Oh, boy. That's enough of that for today. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. We're shitting everywhere. Let's go. Mr. Gray! We wow. got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. Mm. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mm. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Mm. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. Mm. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between Terminal. the two families. His lot, Gray's, Interesting. Two old plantation houses, falling out, rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. Let's see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, we miss you, too. My head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like... We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. Mm. There was talk of super agents or some Super agents. Mm. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. He's all jackass. Mm. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome, Holmes. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Not fishing. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Hmm. Hey, need a rest with all that nothing you've been doing, huh? I'm working in We'll stop here, guys, for now. Oh, sorry, wrong button.
So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we'll be back with another uh, part in the series. This is rather short just because I got to work today. But after today, I got three days off. So y'all stay tuned because we're going to go in, man. All right. We out of here. Peace.